Tropical Depression 4, meantime, has formed over Cuba. And we are expecting this to take this path into the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot will depend on the exact path. Now, really, even if it shifts a bit west or east, we're really not expecting direct impacts at this time for Louisiana or coastal Mississippi, but Florida will see some very differing impacts depending on little changes in the path. For example, if it goes a little farther east, that would make landfall at a totally different point from where they have it here around the Big Bend, or if it were to shift a bit more with all that rain wrapping around the eastern side of the system, that would put more of the Florida Panhandle with some heavier rain, so we'll have to see. But it does look like it will get drawn off this way because this trough is going to attract it to the north and northeast. But if it moves away, the trough kind of pulls away, that's what may cause it to slow down here over Florida and into the southeastern coast of the U.S. But decent consensus, again, the key is keeping it far uh, from Louisiana and Mississippi in the general spot where you can see the path right now. So we'll keep tracking it, but it does look like those tropical watches and warnings are going to be for Florida with maybe three to six inches of rain. That would probably be the biggest threat. And again, if it spends a little more time over the Gulf of Mexico before moving into Florida, that may give it a bit of time to strengthen. So right now it looks like a tropical storm, not out of the question to see it gain hurricane status, though, before it makes landfall.